Welcome back, friends. It's the Half-Ass Crafter. I'm Laura, the Half-Ass Crafter, and we're going to do Half-Ass Crafts. We are. So today, uh, I want to work in my little book. I, I think I have some backgrounds in here. Let's flip through. Let's take a gander. Yeah, like I have stuff like this. Yep, there's some backgrounds. So I took a night... Uh, the other night and I just made a bunch of backgrounds in yes in this journal and then my other art journal where I put all of my people my bigger people this journal is for my little people and anything that's just a little wacky that is person like that's not mine that's uh, Stephanie's but she's tote the dorbs and let's see yeah. So, yes, there are definitely backgrounds in here that I can use. Nothing back there. Okay. So, that's great. Here's what I want to do. Uh, if y'all remember, Sherry sent me this amazing simplicity catalog. And all I have been doing is just flipping through it and flipping through it and flipping through it. And I have got to use it. So, we're going to use it. So, I know what bodies I want. If you remember when I did the Happy Mail haul, I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, I love all of this. And I do. I love all of this. I love all of the colors. They all have different body types. It's just great. So I'm going to use these as the bodies because they will fit in this little journal. So... I'm just going to tear it out, and wow, this is actually really nice paper. Ooh, I'm cutting this out. That gets, that makes my, makes me a little nervous. I don't want to cut. I don't want to tear anybody. Okay, so these are going to be my bodies that I'm going to use. And then next, I want some heads for these bodies. But first, let's cut these out really quickly because it'll be easier if they are separated. It'll be easier for me to figure out what size head I want for them. Because with heads this small, if I got a head that's just two sizes bigger, I don't think that that would be good enough. I don't think that it would be big enough. I think my, I think my two times rule works only for larger dolls. Sometimes with the small bodies, you can put a really big head on them and it's pretty cute. So, these are what we have. I feel like one of these, I don't remember. This mat makes picking things up very difficult, but it's not as shiny for you, so that's better. So, what I do have is I have these two heads, which I they have just, y'all, these poor ladies have just been floating around my art room for the longest time and I need to take their heads so that I can punch out these spheres that are on here. So I want their heads, but just their heads. And then I want to see if I put their heads on these bodies, will that work? Or will that be too big? I don't think that that's going to be too big. I think that's going to be the right size. Okay, and now I can punch these out with my hole punch and use them in my glue book. So let me set this into my glue book to be cut up. All right, and then I want to see... Oh, she's got an interesting head. Look, her head is turned the same way her head is turned. Let's use her. Um... And she's a perfume ad, so ooh, that doesn't actually smell that bad. Some of these perfumes are not terribly great. So let's see what else we have. So we kind of want them to have 
this size, this size. These are almost the same. That's really heavy paper. Let's see if we've got, I would, I wonder, I wonder how a head like that big. Oh, that's pretty good actually. What's on the other side? A watch. I'm not doing an on mass glue book, so I don't need that watch. So I can take this lady's head. But even if I was doing an on mass with a watch, I could still get that watch face off. All right. Do I want her head as well? Her head's a little bigger. I think it would be too big. What about her head? Let's see. Hold her down. You can't see that. Come over. Oh yeah, that's good. I like her head too. What's on the other side? Oh no. No, I like the lady with the sunglasses. I always keep sunglasses because they're hard to find. So I always keep a head that has sunglasses. I don't know about y'all. You know what's interesting? My sister used to rip out anything that was not this paper. So she would always, every time she got a magazine, she'd rip out all of the She'd take out the little cards and she would rip out the perfume samples. And I watch people move the card. They'll like pull it out, flip the page and put the card back. And I'm always like, what? Just throw that in the garbage. But they keep it. And then, But then I'm like, why do I feel the need to rip out all of these perfume ads? And then I remembered, oh, that's because my sister. That's, that's what she used to do. And I just sort of picked up that habit too. I don't know why. Oh, I love that. So good. So good. That actually like works. I need, I would need a bigger head for that. Oh my gosh. The Dooney and Burke Pickleball Collection. Don't know if y'all noticed that one. Yes. That's how big Pickleball has gotten. It's gotten Dooney and Burke big. All right, let's see. What about this lady? Hmm. I think we could use her. I might be able to use that body later too. I'm going to hang on to that. She kind of works, but she doesn't make me giggle yet. She's close, but she doesn't make me giggle. Not yet. We could use that lady. I have no idea what's going on. For a more contoured jawline and toned face. Do you remember the the belt things that the ladies would stand on and that was supposed to do the same thing to your to your tuchus, but I don't know if that actually worked. You see, they don't sell them anymore. So I'm gonna go with, doesn't really work. She actually kind of has the right size head. And there's absolutely nothing on the other side of this. So let's see. Yeah, see, I think this size head really works. Okay. So how many, we have three, four, five, and we have six. So I need one more head. Is that right? Yes. Okay. One more head. Well, those heads are about the right size, but I can't take, that's a nice family. Can't do that. There's, there's limits to my madness. I mean, you know, are not particularly picky limits, but there are limits. What about that? Oh, that kind of works. What's on the other side? Mm. What about that? Is that too big? That might be too big. 
you're in a, you're in a thing. Yeah, I think that's too big. She's on a horsey. She's on a horsey again. I could do a dude face. Oh my gosh. Tara Jacobson did a dude face one time and I just, I have made my husband watch it. I laughed and laughed and laughed so hard. I was like, you no, you have to watch this. He was like, I mean, yeah, that's kind of silly. I was like, whatever, dude, it's funny AF. Okay. Ah, I want that, but I also like that. That's a really good size head. That is a horrible bummer of a bummer. No, I won't scan it in because I like the ephemeral fact of magazines. I know, I know, I make myself feel this way. It's my own dang fault. Come on. I just need one more head. Let's go back. One more small head. Is she... Could she work? Maybe. She's kind of small-ish. She's about, yeah, she's about that lady size. All right. I think we're going to take her. Oh, I really like that hat face, though. Mm. Let's see if I can find another one. Why do they all, why do they all have the good stuff on the other side? I don't understand. I mean, I have a bazillion magazines. I could just go get another one, but I'm trying to not have to do that. See? What about her head? Let's see. What if I... She kind of works, doesn't she? Okay. Let's take her. All right. So now I'm going to go away. It will fade to black, or maybe I'll do the little circle thing where it goes, and then magic will happen. So I'm going to go do some stuff, magic will happen, and then we'll come back and we will have six little paper dolls that will be ready for maybe just going in the book, who knows? Oh my gosh, I have this lady's head. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I didn't need that lady's head. I have this lady's head. Y'all didn't even yell at me about it. You didn't even see it either, did you? Oh, there was one of you. One of you saw it and you were like, yeah, I tried to say that. <sighs> I think that was Marcy. It was Marcy in the back hollering at me. And I was just letting it out. Let me talk to you about my pretty people. Okay, now I'm going to go do this thing. I at least have an extra head so I can figure out which one I want in case there's one that doesn't work. I can do some more. All right, we're going to go figure it out. I do need to worry about that lady's hand. Hmm. Well, we got to figure her hand out. We'll figure it out. We'll see what we do. All right, be right back. Here we go. Woo! Okay, here they are. So I've cut out all of the bodies and I cut out the heads. And I did put the heads to bodies um, to see if I like them that way. I I remember that I had her here because I thought that looked really cute. But maybe she doesn't go there. Uh, I liked her here because they both have their... She's looking that way and her body is turned that way. So I think, I think I'll keep her. So here's what I'm going to do. As I am putting these together, if I like them, I'm just going to glue them. I don't want a second guess. Uh, one tip for you is if you have, if you're using really small bodies, you've got to, well, you, you don't got to do nothing. If you're using really small bodies, it is very helpful if you use, if you leave that tab on the back. So if you cut their, if you just cut their ears off, basically, you really want that little tab. It is really helpful.
I really like, so her earring is purple. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. It's kind of dark. I don't know why it's so dark. Well, it's because it's weirdly dark outside because there's some sort of storm or something. Um, I kind of like her on here. Yeah, I do. And then... Do we like her? I think we like her. I feel like I need to trim up her little ear right here though. So if you are hanging out watching this video, you should know that I'm going to put a clip at the end of this video of a hike that my husband and I went on. Um, I go on this, I've been on this hike a few times. It's a nice little state park near us. Oh yeah, okay, I like her. So there's going to be a fun clip. Uh, it is rushing water, so it may be loud and it may startle you. So be prepared for that. If you've got your volume turned way up, you may, you may want to turn it down because she's hilarious. Oh, I love her. All right. Uh, let's see. We could do her. I don't like that, actually. I don't like that at all. I kind of like her over here. I don't know if that's enough glue. I hope so, because that's what she gets. There we go. That's enough glue. There she is. Oh, these ladies are funny. All right, and then I like her on here. But she has to go, whoops. She has to go kind of like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's hilarious. Why is that so dark? I don't know if that's any better. Is that better? Yeah. Oh, she's good. She's good. Okay. And then we have, or, no, although, ooh, no, I think she works better over here. And she needs, she needs to be tilting her head like this lady's head. See, this lady's head's tilted too. Super cute. All right, let's put this over here. I want to bring these ladies down so that you can see them. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. Ugh, I just love this simplicity catalog so much. Okay, and then we do we want her or do we want her? Oh, let's see. What do we want? What do we want? Oh, no, I like her. It's her. It's her. All right, her head's going that way. Hers is kind of going that way. Hers is that way. Hers is that way. Hers is that way. So hers needs to go that way too. That was a bit more than I wanted it to be. But that's okay. Oh yeah. All right, let me let's wipe that glue up. Let's bring these ladies in. How cute is this? Oh my gosh. Now I want to put them in like a whole scene doing something, you know? This is what happens. My brain gets very excited. All right. She's gonna go into my body parts basket. So I do, I do have a body parts basket and I think I've shown everybody. So let me, I'm just going to show you again. So a lot of people are like, I don't know how to store the body parts. These are things that I pulled out of a harvest. See the eyeballs, keeping the eyeballs. So sometimes I do have, you know, like this, right? I, I, I just cut an extra thing out. So I have these little packs, these little zipper bags, one's eyes. I actually have one for chairs, seats. I have one for heads. I'm gonna put her in the head one. 
Uh, I have one for bodies and one for arms and legs. And there's not many in here. There's like, I think there's just two sets of legs in this one. So the eyes, I do sometimes cut out a lot of eyes, um, but not, not usually. So this is a body. And these are all eyes. Oh, that's actually a head, but I need to cut it out. So, all right, so that's how I store it. So now you know. Um, and then they just sit in that basket upright. So I don't hopefully bend them, but sometimes I bend them. Okay, they're so good. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find places in my little journal here to put them. And the first place I want to go is these pages, where are they? Right here. So these pages I did with some gloss sprays and some paint and inks and all sorts of things. And I was doing them thinking of these ladies because these ladies have such bright colors, right? So. Okay, you can't see that, let me move. I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I know, I know. Y'all are like, Laura, we're not up there, honey. We're down here, I know. Now we're back, everybody's fine. And then I could do like her and her. What do we think? <gasps> They're so good, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love them. I do want a little strip of something here. So what I'm gonna do is I have, okay, I have this, which I could put down here on their little feet. Yeah, why not? That's actually perfect. So let's just do that. Um, I'm gonna need art glitter glue for that because this is acrylic paint and I don't think a glue stick will stick, but I almost glued the wrong side. So there we go. Oh my gosh, so good, so exciting. Are y'all as excited as I am about this because this is so exciting. Oh, I love it. All right, there we go. So I will say this art journal is falling apart. Uh, if you are new to these art journals and or and or art journaling. So these are the Dilutions, the Ranger, they're by Ranger. Um, they are Diane Reevely Dilutions, um, Ranger art journals. They have great paper, they're really good. I will say if you're gonna use a lot of inks and things and you're not gonna like immediately mop them up with paper towels, then I would, and I did it back here, I'm gonna show it to you. I would put, I would run a piece of masking tape here. So before I did all of this, there's a piece of masking tape under here. You can kind of see there's a ridge there maybe. Um, and then I put this piece of magazine paper on top of the masking tape because the masking tape didn't take the inks and the uh, paints as well as the paper did. So it looked a little odd. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to put this down because that's all the same colors. Speaking of, maybe I could do... No. Absolutely not. Okay, so I have this and I think these ladies should go here like that. And I think that these ladies should go over here, but I want one further back, yes. Do I want one further back than this one? Oh my gosh, they're just so good. <laughs> they just... I mean, they are meant for this page or these pages. They're so good. I just gotta stick them down, y'all. Just gotta stick them down. So what I will probably do is I like to, I like to do my magazine collage. And then what I will do is I will come back later and doodle them when I am feeling more doodly. So, oh, 
Ooh, that's gonna that's gonna leave a mark. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's evaporating. Okay. So I don't like to. I get I get overwhelmed with the doodling sometimes. I like the doodling to be something where I'm like. I want to doodle something. Hmm, let me try to doodle this. Oh, you know what? I see a pattern that I might want to do with this. I can't do it on demand. And sometimes when I have to make, or I don't know why I said when I have to make, there's no one, there's no one behind me making me make art videos. But when I make an art video, sometimes I feel like that, you know, oh, I gotta, I gotta doodle it too. So then I, you know, but then I feel all pressured about it and that's not, that doesn't make any of this fun. And we all want this to be fun. So you need to know, I love that they have very plain clothes because the backgrounds are very busy and their clothes definitely pop off of the background, but the background is still bright like their clothes. And I especially love that they all have these like supermodel faces and heads and um, what's the word I'm looking for? Looks, you know, they're all like very serious. Like I'm a supermodel and it's very serious business. So I'll just be over here being a model, except this lady. I don't know what this lady's doing, but she's like, mm, I think I am sensing a little BS somewhere. Her BS detector's going off. all good she'll figure it out she'll sniff it out i don't know why i put so much glue on the bottom of her down there move her over just a smidgen just a smidgen there we go oh i like that and that does leave a little room here if i want to glue something there. I can. Oh, look at that. I love them. Oh my gosh. They are so good. They are so, 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 so good. So I might, whoa, glue this down. So I might doodle um, on their clothes a little bit but not right the second. Okay, now let's find a place for the other ladies to live. These are really just very plain backgrounds. Well, they might live on a page together. Let's see. I can't find anything that works on these pages. I think I'm gonna have to like, I don't know what I'm gonna have to do with these pages. It's nothing works on them. Every time I put things on them, I'm like, nope, 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 nope. What about on here? Now, I don't know if you noticed, she had little, like, the toes of her shoes were poking out. I didn't even try to cut those out. I did cut out the toes of her shoes, but I wasn't even going to attempt it with her. I was like, no way, man. Ain't happening. Um... I don't know that I really like them on that orange. Oh, keep going. Ooh, hang on. This might work. What if we put them here? Well, they're the right color, but I do want something else in that background. I think I know what might work. We're gonna see. What if we put these behind them? Oh, that looks like an eyeball. That looks a little creepy. Well, now I just look like I'm making eyeballs. No, I don't like that. It looks like eyeballs. Okay, never mind. But if I want to make eyeballs for something, do y'all see this? Look, I got eyeballs. They're like big googly eyes. Interesting. Okay. Uh, the other option is I can look over here in my glue book stuff and see what I might have. I have this, so I could possibly put them on that. that. That might be too dark. Here, I'll bring this over so you can see what I'm doing. This is my little glue book 
fussy cut things. Well, they're not really fussy cuts. Ooh, no, well, maybe, let's see. What if I put that on there? And then I had her up there and her down here. Oh, I kind of like that actually. Okay, well, that was easy, weirdly enough. All right, and we need some glue. Smalls is over there licking on everything. She's a little dog. Does anybody else have little dogs that just like lick and lick and lick and lick? And I feel like little dogs have anxiety disorders because they're little. I would probably have an anxiety disorder if I was that small too, because I can only imagine what it's like wandering around with me because I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm the most graceful human on the planet. You know what I mean? So, you know. All right. And I got glue on my mat, but that's okay because it comes off with a wet wipe. Water soluble. All right, so we call Smalls a dog cat or a cat dog because she really acts more like a cat than she does a dog. So she has a cat bed. If I remember, I'll put a little picture here of Smalls and Aggie in their respective beds, which are over there under my little quilt wall. Okay, so then you can meet those two dogs. I'm not sure if y'all have met them yet. All right, so we like this. I do kind of want something behind them up here, though. What do I want? Let's see if I can find something. Before I put them down, can I find something that looks good up there? I don't know that I like that necessarily. What else do I have in here? Anything interesting? I mean, probably, but there's that. Hmm, no, I don't think so. I definitely want something up there. What do I want up there? Do I want maybe, I have this? piece, but I don't think I like that red. I have this piece. Probably go this way with it. <sighs> no, I don't really know why that would be up there. Okay, well, maybe I need to find something else and put up it. But I'm going to glue them down because I want them, she says, as she realizes she has a whole bucket of things over here. Hang on. Hold your horses. I have some things. So these are miscellaneous, but a lot of these are Tisha Moore printables. So I could easily, oh yeah, okay. I like that. Where does this need to go? Right about there. Yep. Okay. These are Tisha Moore printables um, that you can get if you join her Art Stronauts Club. Just go to artstronauts.com. All one word. And I think it's $45 a year. Is that right? I don't remember. It wasn't much because I was like, yes, I can pay Tisha Moore that much money for a year and have access to all of her videos and things. Oh yeah, that's cool. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh yes, absolutely. Oh yeah, I'm even gonna put this one down here because then they look like they're in, I don't know, some sort of underground world or something. All right, so that gonna go there and then she's gonna go on top of that this is great 
This is all working out so well. I love that simplicity catalog. Sherry. Oh, best happy mail, happy meal, happy mail piece ever. It really is one of my favorites. I gotta, I gotta say, I can't, I don't like to play favorites, but y'all, this simplicity catalog is amazing. So I can't deny it. Oh, so good. All right. Get all this on here and then we're gonna put her down and then we're gonna go look at the other ladies and see if maybe there's something else we want to do over there might not be and that's okay she's a little bit higher up like so there we go oh I love it that is so good. <laughs> Y'all, this is so good. I really think that I might actually be improving. I know, I know. I don't really want to say that out loud because I'm worried, you know, people will be like, slow down, you should have done all this other stuff. But I think that I'm totally improving. That is way better than a lot of things that I've done. That's so good. Uh, and then these ladies are fabulous too, so... We have those ladies and those ladies. Oh, so good. All right. I may doodle this. I may not doodle this. Who knows? Um, I kind of don't want to doodle this. I even like how flat they are on this whole page. So I may just leave that alone. Um, these ladies I might doodle though. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to let everything dry. All right. Don't forget, I'm going to add a little clip here of my hike. It might be loud, so maybe turn your volume down a little bit. I mean, I'll try to turn the volume down on the clip so that it doesn't, like, kill your speakers. But it's spring. All the snow is melting off the mountain. It's all coming into uh, into the, the river, and the river is raging. So I did try to find, like, a babbling brook that was super nice and calm and quiet and there just wasn't any i found one but on one side was rapids and upriver was rapids so i was like never mind never mind all right i hope you enjoyed this little foray into our paper dolls these ladies look like they're on a dance floor these ladies i don't know i feel like they're at some ball in a in an intergalactic space commune or something. I don't know. I think it's great. All right. I hope that you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, a wonderful whatever. Go be creative. Enjoy yourself. Do some half-ass crafts because it's all okay. Bye. <laughs>